Hi everyone, welcome back to Multi Geek in the Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about pies. I come from a family of pie makers. My mom made pies. She taught both of my sisters to make pies and I learned to make pies. We're going to make a blackberry pie today, but first I'm going to tell you a great little story. A few years ago I was making a blackberry pie right here and as I was putting it together right toward the end, I realized I didn't have enough blackberries. So I looked in the refrigerator to see what I could find. There were peaches. I cut up a peach, I put it on top, put the top crust on, baked it, and it was even better. The next time, I put two peaches in, one on the bottom, one on the top, and that stuck. That's what I do now. Every time I make a blackberry pie, I put a couple of peaches in, and it's better. So we're going to do that today, my signature blackberry peach pie, with a crust from scratch, either vegan or with butter. We're going to start with the crust. I put a tablespoon of sugar in a food processor, a cup of flour, pastry flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and like a lot of baking, we mix the dry ingredients first. And we need a quarter cup of fat. It can be butter, it could be vegan butter, it could be coconut oil. It should be cold, straight out of the refrigerator or out of the freezer. Cut it into pieces, and the chunks go in. This is exactly the same whether you use vegan butter or cow butter. Makes no difference. Okay, you press that a few times to get it kind of like a coarse meal, the biggest sizes of the fat inside should be the size of a pea. Okay, now we need some water to make it all bind together. We start, this is going to depend on your flour and your fat. Start with three tablespoons of water. Mix it together and it should get quite sticky. It's still quite a bit short. This flour is very thirsty. There's four or five that's good. I put a piece of parchment paper out. You could use wax paper. Make the dough into a ball. I'll start in the food processor, pushing it together in the ball. If it won't stick easily like this, you didn't put enough water in. Try to get it to pick up the rest. And flatten the ball. Next you're going to need a rolling pin and a little flour. Dust the disc with flour and start to roll it out. Try and get a nice even circle. It needs to be a little larger than our pie plate. So there we are. There's our top crust. I'm only doing a single crust today because a lot of people are trying to eat less gluten. So I'm leaving off the bottom crust, but if you're making a double crust pie, it's exactly the same. And this goes into the refrigerator while we make the filling. And now the filling. I have two peaches. I've pitted and cut up into slices. I make a layer on the bottom with a little less than half of them. And then I'll save the rest for the top. This will be fine. Okay, here I have about three cups of blackberries. If I can find wild and pick them myself, I will. At the moment, I don't have any in the, in the neighborhood or in season. So this is three cups of blackberries. Rinsed, cleaned up a little bit. Oh, probably a quarter cup of sugar, a couple of tablespoons of flour, and then sort of my little secrets. I throw in a little bit of salt, I throw in a little bit of black pepper, I throw in a little bit of ground cinnamon, and I throw in a little bit of dried orange or lemon peel. Just a little bit. All of those things add a little spark to it. This goes on top of the peaches. Spread it around evenly. The peaches go on top, just like on the bottom. Perfection is not necessary here. 
If you haven't made pies and you start making them, you're going to find that the way they look has no correlation to the way they taste. Okay, now the dough comes back out of the oven. The dough is out of the oven. It was in there for about the five minutes it took me to make the pie because I had prepped the berries and peaches before starting anything else. Okay, now this just goes upside down on top of the pie, as centered as you can get it, and peel the parchment paper away carefully. Now, if it's nice and cool, it'll still be easy to center. That's pretty close. We're going to do this very easily. All we're going to do is we're going to fold the crust under. And if there's a little too much, don't worry about it. I'm going to fold it under. Here we have just a, a little, little more than too much. Over here we're a little bit short. I'll just throw that in. My MO in making pies is rustic. I don't do fancy. So I tidy those up a little bit and then the old grandmother's fork trick. Now everybody decorates the top. There we have a pie on our pie. The standard way to get a pie of brown on top is with egg yolk or some milk. I generally don't eat dairy right now, so I've taken a little bit of oat milk and I put a little sugar in it so we have something to make the pie brown on top. Paint that on the crust lightly. This is exactly the same if you're using milk or if you're using egg yolk or some people even combine them. So we want to make sure that we get all the crust wet. Again, there's nothing fancy. All of it wet. And that's it. This goes in a 350 degree oven. I usually put a cookie sheet down first because these tend to bubble over. Okay, the pie's been in about 40 minutes on convection. Let's see how it looks. It sure smells good. That's about right. That's about all the browning I'm going to get out of that. It looks great. All right, let me know how yours turn out. Happy Eats!